Here we have a very nice and small hooded wall clock by the Kent clock maker called Thomas Ranger. It was part of a collection of an esteemed horologist until recently uh, and was in the Antiquarian Horological Society's exhibition at the Museum of the History of Science at Oxford University. Um, it's also featured in a publication cataloguing that exhibition entitled Time and Place English Country Clock 1600 to 1840. It's always beneficial to obtain a clock that's verified and catalogued because it remains a permanent record and it has been authenticated. People are becoming more and more discerning these days and more knowledgeable about clocks, especially people who want good clocks and want to invest. This has been helped with the aid of the internet. Um, people are also understanding that you only get what you pay for and as long as the cost can be justified on a good, rare or fine clock, then it really is secondary to actually obtaining the piece. Uh, this is an exceptionally rare little clock because not only is it very small, attractive and genuine, but the pine case has survived in such fine condition. There's not a single piece of replaced timber in it and the original finish has never been restored. So what originally was ebonised has crinkled over the two and a half centuries, which suggests to me that this clock, for most of its life, has been hung by an open fire on the breast, such as this here. The clock is small, only has a five inch square dial, is of 30 hour duration with an alarm, short pendulum, and I suspect because of its simple lines and plain dial, whereas the corners are engraved rather than having spandrels, that Thomas Ranger was actually a Quaker. When I first viewed this clock, it literally stopped me in my tracks. I knew as soon as I set eyes on it that I had to own it. I find it so special that I may even withdraw it from sale. 